Hey guys! So today I thought we would do a little rand slash makeup look because I posted this makeup look on Instagram and you guys were like, can I get a tutorial of that? I'm like, of course you can. I use mostly Tarte products. I'm not being sponsored by Tarte. They do send me uh, some makeup just to test out. And I have to say they have some of the best blushes in the industry. They're just like, I can't find anything other than that that's just so good. And they have those Amazonian clay things and it's just one of my favorite makeup companies but you could probably find dupes for these. I'll list the products while I'm applying it onto my face and I'll be doing a tag of the 19 questions tag because when you guys suggested I should do that tag and I love talking while I'm doing my makeup like we're talking like friends because it's not that intricate to put on a full face of makeup, I don't think. So you could follow the step-by-steps while we're talking about all the good things. I need to get this out of my face because we're gonna apply some makeup. And I'm going to start off with one of my new favorite obsessions, Smashbox Primer Water. And if you refrigerate this, this feels like ice crystals, like Elsa just like did some magical powers on your face because it's so hot in summertime and it smells divine. So I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations that's a little bit dewy. It's light to medium coverage. It's not too heavy and I just like it. It's always done me great. I have to admit some of the drugstore makeups do come off a little bit pink when they oxidize on your skin but I will deal with it for I mean the amazing price and this just like looks and feels good if you like blend it into your skin you can't notice it at all so let's pour this on here and I'm not using any primers if you've noticed like I don't put any primers on my skin because I haven't found a primer that doesn't break me out all primers I don't know what it is but they all break me out like none other and I'm like excuse me what no I don't like this my skin's like what are you doing to me and I'm sorry I just need to find a primer that you know will make my foundation look amazing like everyone says the primers are gonna like make you look so nice and I'm like um they just like make me look like a pizza face why is this smell? I don't know that's just the foundation smell I'm like why does this smell weird I do like downward motions because I'm going with the natural hairs on your face yes we all have hairs on our face girls I know we don't have like full beards usually or anything but we do have baby hairs on our face and on top of that I've got like a crown of like baby hairs around my head and I want to like do a video where I just like you know make them all intricate designs like a tumbler look because I am like queen of baby hairs and frizz flying everywhere if that ever becomes a trend I'm just gonna be on top of it but let's get on top of this uh, questions tag the first tag question is where was I born I was born the same city that Snoop Dogg grew up in, which is Long Beach, California, LBC. That's why when I found out I was doing Comic Con in Long Beach, I'm like, yes, my hometown. These real technique brushes are just like what dreams are made of. I feel like they're made out of like unicorn hairs or something because I haven't found brushes that are this good. Let's cancel out them dark circles under my eyes because I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. I'm just like, let's make all the videos and do all the things and go hang out with all the friends. I try to do too many things at once. I always get darkness in the corner of my eye and right here under it. Any like Samney orange tone concealer that's a cream will do good. And then on top of that, I put my new favorite addiction, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer was in my dreams. I think I dreamt this concealer up because it's amazing. Oh yeah, the next question, were you named after someone? I'm going off topic. I wasn't named after someone. For the longest time, I thought I was named after a country singer, but my parents informed me that's wrong, which is okay with me. I think they just liked my name and they're like, let's just name her this. We don't want it Catherine or anything. No, we just want it short and simple and sweet. I feel like I'm doing like a clown creepy face makeup. Next question is when's the last time I cried? Gosh, it was probably over something so stupid and I was being over dramatic or a movie. I think it was something so stupid and I was being over dramatic. I don't know, maybe it was that time of the month or something, but I just remember it was really dumb. And I'm like, why am I crying over this after the fact? Oh my gosh, no. You know what I cried over? Uh, when Shane made that video about him coming out and I was so happy for him. That's what it was. 
Yeah, I literally cry, cry happy tears. Lately, it's so bad. Like, when I go to weddings of people that I know, I'm just like, oh, I'm such a baby. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but I'm usually not like that. I'm so bad. Like, when I watch Ellen DeGeneres and there's, like, that Sophie Grace girl and, like, she gets to sing with Nicki Minaj, I start crying because this is so randomly <laughs> too much information and kind of dumb. But I start crying because I'm like, oh, my gosh, she gets to, like, live out her dreams and meet Nicki Minaj. I'm not, like, a huge... Nicki Minaj stan. I mean, she's okay, but I'm just like whenever someone gets like live out their dreams I'm like, oh, I'm so happy for them. Even though I don't know them. I just just random We need uh, more corrections because my livelihood is around when the Sun starts going down That's when I start waking up I swear that I'm not from this planet like I'm allergic to everything and like I only function at night really well I think I'm an alien basically. I'm pretty sure it's a known fact. Next question is, do you have any kids? No, I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm positive I don't have children because I'm just like not ready yet. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm just have so many things that I want to do. Not saying you can't do anything when you have kids, but like I need to take care of myself before I could take care of others. I just want to make sure I'm totally, totally ready. Next question, if you were another person, would you be friends with you? I have asked myself this question so many a times. It's so random that it just happened to be in this tag because I haven't looked at the questions yet. But yeah, I would totally be my friend. I'm like into almost everything, which could be good or bad. You kind of get annoyed by those people like, okay, you like everything, we get it, you're trying to fit in. But I honestly take an interest to in everything with music, movies, and everything because I take everything into account and I want to just experience everything and I bring it into like my art, my work. That's how I look at it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. I think I'm an okay, cool person. Would you be my friend? Contour does on fleek. Next question is, do you have any pets? And I do, and I have a Chihuahua Terrier named Sandy. I call her my baby possum rat dog because she kind of looks like a possum and she's getting old and like her tail, this sounds so disgusting, but her tail is like going a little bald at the tip, which sounds gross. But I mean, I love her to death. She's like my child. Next question is, do you use sarcasm? And of course I do, especially like, I love friends. This is gonna sound really weird. This is what I look for in a friend. I look for a friend who's very sarcastic at times and has a great personality, but loves to do boring stuff sometimes at the same time. I'm not the type of person that likes to go out to clubs. I don't like to party that much unless there's free food. That's my time of a party. I'm like the girl in the corner that will be like the wallflower kind of where I will eat the free food and like play with the person's pets, like the dogs that are there that is hosting the party. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like uh, pets can sometimes be a little bit more interesting than humans. I'm just not like a party person. I do try to talk to everybody though. It's just a, such a hard thing. Why is my eyebrow, okay. But yeah, I need someone who's sarcastic because I like to be sarcastic. You need to have jokes and fun in life and not be serious all the time. Laughter is like one of the greatest things ever. And sarcasm is like, a joke that everybody can relate to and get. It's hard to explain. If you're a sarcastic person, you know what I'm talking about. But don't be sarcastic in a mean way if you know the person's not gonna get it and it's something very emotional that they're going through or like something that they really are serious about, don't do that. Next question is, would you go bungee jumping? That is a solid, absolutely positively not because I always see those scary videos like you know when you're searching on YouTube at five o'clock in the morning yeah my hours are crazy sometimes okay let's not say five o'clock let's uh, normal late human hours which is three o'clock I told you I'm not from this planet I like staying up at the weirdest times of the day but I watched YouTube videos of like people bungee jumping and something terribly happens and that would just happen to me where it's like when they go to the bottom they come back up the rope wraps around their neck and they just have a terrible time at life and I'm like let's not do that please I'm sorry if I'm blinding you with this mirror I'm trying to be a efficient makeup guru it's so weird to call myself a makeup guru still I'm just like really am I cat sketch that doesn't sound like a makeup guru name What's your favorite cereal? Well, I found out that I'm allergic to cereal, everything that's wheat and rice and like flour and barley, which is just, I told you I'm not from here. On my planet, we don't have those things. We just eat like vegetables and meat and stuff and chocolate. Chocolate's like the main food group. But cereal, back in the day when I did eat cereal, it was, um, I was really a big fan of like 
the top three, I can't pick one. The Kellogg's yogurt one, it's like berries and yogurt. That one was delicious and so was Cinnamon Toast Crunch and so was Apple Jacks. What's your eye color? Well, when I was born, it was poop brown. My dad says it's my eyes are where uh, the poop meets the grass. That's the color of them. So they're like a brown green. They're a lot more prominently green now than they used to be. I don't know if it's because the summertime they change or I think it's because I'm getting older. I don't know why. They just like get lighter. I love green eyes. I'm fine with that. But every eye color is beautiful. Scary movies are happy endings. I love scary movies to death. I'm more of a um, like whimsical twisted movie with a twisted ending that's kind of happy. Like my all-time favorite TV show that has nothing to do with movies but it is uh, Pushing Daisies. So any movie like that, uh, I love scary movies though. They just like show me all the effects I want to do and all the different makeup looks because usually the scary person is always just like a cool makeup I want to do. But there's so many makeup looks I want to do. I could sit here for five years and tell you all the makeups I want to do. Do I have any brothers or sisters? I have a younger brother who's two years younger than me and um, I'm not sure if he likes me that much. He's all right, we're totally opposite. He's a cool guy, he's really smart and like computer savvy and I'm just like, just buy an Apple and it tells you to do everything. He's like, I hate apples, I just wanna do Windows and we're totally opposite. Like I talk too much and he does barely talks at all and uh, but he's cool, he's super nice when he wants to be. <laughs> Aren't all brothers like that? Going back in with this color, like right here. Computer or TV? I am definitely computer all the way. There's Netflix on the computer and on the TV and I'm all about Netflix lately. I like to binge watch TV shows over waiting for a whole week to watch it like normal humans do. I like, uh, I almost stabbed my eye just now. What is the first thing you notice about a person? I'm gonna take this and do my eyelashes. Definitely their eyes, especially when I draw people. I always start with the eyes because they're my favorite thing to do and I don't know why, just people's eyes. I feel like you can always tell if a person's kind hearted if you look into their eyes good enough. You know, like the eyes are the windows to your soul. I know it's cheesy, but I believe in that. And I just love people's eyes. I could draw eyes for days though. What's your favorite smell? I love this question because it's so weird sounding. If, uh, unless you're me, I love different smells, but uh, definitely fresh clothing like um, fabric softener when people are doing laundry you just smell it in the air I know that's really weird but it just smells like home to me and it's funny because I'm allergic to fabric softener furthest you've been away from home definitely North Carolina I've gone to Mexico I haven't gone out of the country I really want to go to England sometime but yeah I haven't been that far away from home here in California the United States of America I hope this looks like how it used to. Recreating makeup looks, even if I've done them, I'm like, wait, what? I don't remember what I ate for lunch today, <laughs> let alone what I did on my face the other day for makeup wise. No, it does look like it. Okay. I'm not going insane yet. Now the next thing is so excessive and you don't need to do it, but individual lashes was definitely used in the look when I put it on the Instagrams. They're kind of scary because they look like uh, like little insects. Next question is, do you have any special talents? Does cooking count as a special talent? Because the only special talent I have, if you count it as special, is maybe doing makeup and uh, drawing. Next is, do I have any hobbies? I wish I could like make clothing and speak different languages. That's a hobby I wish I had, but I don't have that. So uh, no, unless Netflixing on the sofa while eating is a hobby. I like to uh, go to flea markets and talk to old people while buying antique things. Is that a hobby? Because I'm all about that life. It's time to put the lips on and there was 18 questions and the person that made this tag made just one more 19 and uh, it's the 19th question and uh, it's if you're in love. I don't know, I feel like I have people in my life who I'm in love with, let's just say that. This lip color though, I'm in love with this. It's like a rose 90s mauve but like your skin but better but rosy I can't explain it it's like antique rose before we leave the scene I feel like I need that darker plum color bombshell just like a little bit more towards the inside of my eye and the color best friend as well so perfect timing that is the end of our tag and our makeup look um I absolutely love this makeup it's like it could go from day to night, I think. I mean, it's really smoky, but they're natural looking colors. So I think it's passable. I don't know about you. 
I say forget what people call day to night look and just do whatever makes you feel happy and beautiful. So I hope you guys like this makeup of this natural smoky look from the Tarte Lip Palette. Leave me a comment down below on what we would do if we ever met because it just got me thinking while we were going through these tag videos, will we do makeup together? Will we draw together? Will we go out for like a movie and coffee? It sounds like a little date we're gonna go on. I'm so excited to see some of you at Comic-Con. Oh, it's gonna come so soon. I can't wait. And I love you guys. I will definitely see you soon. Bye.